When mixing sand and cement for your mortar, a good mix is three sand and one cement. So whether that's in a small tub like that, three sand, one cement, or a bucket, three sand and one cement. Out the two, the cement is more expensive you start to bulk it out with the sand then you'll end up with a weak mix which will not last. Now if I am mixing any mortar then this is the plasticizer that I use. Pretty good stuff and you do notice the difference when it's in there and again improves durability. Well, I do always have some sand and cement um, just working outside the amount of times I've been asked while I'm on my ladder um, I've been asked while you're up there is there any chance you could you know, take a look at that bit of pointing and you know little bits and bobs like that I'm doing anything myself I've always got a bit there now if we take a look at this patch on the wall you can see there's a doorway being tucked out the lintel's still in. There's a door being tucked out here, patched up. Now if we look at where the original cement is, we see how tight it is. And then we look at the structure of the cement on this one. Very gritty. So it's crumbling away there, flaking away there. Whereas this is a lot harder, different it'll be a stronger mix so if your cement is failing your mortar then it's going to be really two things one reworking it when it's gone beyond its state as in on the on the in the mixer on the board um, it'll start to dry and you start to play with it and it becomes crumbly you re-wet it and you rework it and you put it in and you could get this but I'd say that looking at that the structure of it it's the amount of sand to the ratio of cement your general mix should be three to one something like this could be anywhere between five and six to one no, I, I, just, I wouldn't really know. You'd have to be there, start to stand there and watch it being mixed. But overall, that to me says a weak mix. Should never be more than three to one. Now, for something down below, that's a bit different. I want to take a look at some of my flags I made. So these I made myself. And are made in situ literally just pieces of ply stuck into the floor and then just made up the paving now anything that's near the ground needs to be a stronger mix as in less sand so this was a two to one mix I mixed some gravel in for strength and used the mortar plasticizer if you look at just the edge of this, I mean, that's as tough as nails that is. And this is near the ground, so mortar mixes low down like this, two to one. 